Good afternoon, people. Um, this is a reading about um, TikTok and some privacy issues. Um, I'm going to read the, this text so that you have the pronunciation of it. Right? I'm going to articulate and I'm going to pronounce it as clearly as possible. Please just listen in to this um, this reading. Um, also, I would like you to take notes uh, when when you read this because it's gonna be on that model. I want you to take notes. I want you to summarize some key information about this about this reading um, because the quiz uh, in the quiz I have included some. Um, important questions um, related to the reading. The quiz about this question is, the quiz, sorry, about this reading is 10 questions. So, um, pay attention also to the, to, to the pronunciation of this reading. Um, Professor Karen North studies social media at the University of Southern California. She also has two teenage kids at home. She told her kids they could have any application or app on their phones, except TikTok. Young people love widely popular apps for making quick, funny videos. Yet, North and others worry. North reason is that their data is being collected by a company that doesn't have to follow U.S. privacy laws. These laws protect a person's information about their age, email, likes, dislikes, and other data. TikTok is owned by by dance, which is a Chinese company, should the Chinese Communist government demand data be handed over, by dance would have no choice but to agree, says North. Communism, one way of thinking about a government's role in the economy, is a system where the government controls almost everything. However, TikTok denies this. It said it stores data in the US and Singapore. If asked by the Chinese government to hand over data, TikTok says it wouldn't do so. President Donald Trump said he would sign an order blocking TikTok from operating in the United States. Microsoft said it would go ahead with plans to buy the American part of TikTok instead. The company hopes to complete the deal by September. Trump said he'd go through with the order if there were no deal in 45 days. What exactly is the problem with TikTok? Meanwhile, parents might be wondering what exactly is the problem with TikTok. Anyone can watch TikTok videos without registering. No data collection takes place. But what if you want to create a video or comment on someone else? Then you must give information about yourself, your age, your phone number, and email address are all needed to register. From there, TikTok collects information from various sources on the app. This includes your location, what videos you watch and like, and your use 
of platform. TikTok says we also collect information contained in the messages you send through our platform and information from your phone book. That's a lot. North is cautious of the app because China has different privacy laws than the US. I would say the same thing about any foreign app, she says. Angry Bird is from Finland. How are the privacy laws there? The US considers blocking all apps from China. Should the US block all apps from China? TikTok has more than 800 million downloads. WeChat and QQ are two other social media communication apps. There are, they are both owned by Tencent, a Chinese company. In early August, United States Secretary of State Mike said all untrusted Chinese apps should be taken out of US app stores. He believes these apps could put the privacy data of Americans at risk. The information collected by TikTok is similar to what is gathered by Facebook. Patrick Jackson works for the security app Disconnect. He says Facebook is worse, simply because it's so much bigger. Facebook boasts of having more than 2 billion users. The sheer volume of what's collected can be compared, he says. What's bigger than using your data to influence an election, which Facebook did in 2016. Facebook users' data was taken without consent by an outside company. It was then used to target election ads. In early August, Facebook introduced Reels on Instagram app. It works the same as TikTok. In April, in April 2020, TikTok said it was doing everything it could to give countries like China very minimal access to user data from the US and other countries. However, there is a difference between minimal or none. Social media advice for parents and, and children. Jackson suggests that parents advise their kids to use only TikTok to watch videos. Less data can be collected on them that way. Additionally, users can opt to have their account be listed as private. They can also choose only certain friends to view their account. North says she let their kids download TikTok if the Microsoft deal goes through. If they own it, they have the data on US servers and follow US laws. And I'm fine with it, she says. I'm just giving the pronunciation of all this rhythm. I want you to read it. I want you to read it out loud. I want you to underline those words that you did not know the pronunciation. And remember that I'm going to um, to create a quiz from this important article about TikTok. I know that a lot of you um, are using TikTok to record your videos, but you might not know that um, your data can be used by um, by a company um, to share your personal information with um, with a third party. So be mindful about TikTok and be mindful about those those apps that. Um, collect your personal information for uh, purposes you don't know about. Um, I want you to reflect 
on this one and I'll be asking a couple of questions on the quiz related to this. I want you to read it critically, analytically, right? Not just read it through, just read it with your brain on, not with your brain off. Thank you so much people for pay at paying attention to, to this video and I'll be uploading this video on Edmodo and I'll be uploading this um, this text on Edmodo as well for your reference. If you have any questions on this one, please do not hesitate to, to send me a message and um, I'll be more than glad to help you out with that. Thank you so much and take care.